The Congress of the People says it has something different to offer voters. It's promising free electricity, fee-free schooling and jobs for all if it's voted into power. I'm not leaving you the right route because they are not following the constitution of our country. In the Cope is also determined to turn the country's economic woes around and put the power back in the hands of the people. The constitution says that we may, uh, we, 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 we must have power. We can elect people and we must identify people that we want to elect and send to, uh, not to vote for a party and a party chooses for you. Power is not in the hands of the people in that way. The party took a knock in the last general elections due to ongoing infighting. But Lakota says Cope is back on track and says he's positive it will garner better support in May. You know, I've, I don't know how many times I've read these obituaries about uh, the Congress of the People. And, and here we are, you know, we are still here. And I can promise you, after these elections, we are going to be even bigger than many of these people that are writing these stories. Up. You are in a state where you can be free and not to be classified on any color. And that's the reason why I always follow COP. I believe in COPE. I find that they care for the people. They're not a racist party. They take, um, consider all the races in South Africa. It hopes to convince South Africans to place their trust in its leadership and vision. Sandy McCowan, East London.